Hello and welcome to the ChessCreator.com YouTube video channel. In today's video, I'm pleased to continue with my series of lectures on the London system. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at one option when black plays an early bishop d6 and talk a little bit about whether to exchange the bishop, whether not to exchange the bishop and the pros and cons of one particular line. Okay, so uh, this game begins d4, d5, bishop f4, bishop f5, e3, knight c6, c3, e6, knight d2. And there's nothing particularly unique about this. Um, if you've watched the previous London System videos you will notice this pattern of development from previous videos. And here as usual if uh, black has played an early bishop f5 then one option for white is to develop with queen to b3. Okay, so here black plays the early bishop d6. And I'm going to break these videos down into uh, two separate ones. This video is going to discuss my recommended approach and the way that I play against bishop d6 without c5. And just for the avoidance of doubt, that means with black still having their pawn supporting the bishop. Now here there are two main options. Um, the trading option is the one that I'm not recommending because if black plays what I believe to be the most accurate response which is recapturing with the pawn they get a very strong pawn centre and end up with quite good central control and really I consider this position that black has equalised already. So I'm not going to recommend that line. If we just rewind to the position, here the way I play this is with bishop g3 and this really invites black to initiate the, the exchange and there are pros and cons of doing this and I've chosen this game, uh, one of my own games, to illustrate the pros of playing this way. Now of course not all your games are going to go like this and um, it's by no means a perfect solution but I believe this will illustrate the, uh, the advantages um, and also turning the weaknesses into potential uh, advantages also. So this game continued as follows. Bishop takes g3 and h takes g3. Now on one hand we have a weakness, potential weakness here of double pawns um, but also we've opened up the h file and um, that can be very important um, obviously it could be a ready-made attack if black castles kingside. And here the basic way that I like to play this position is really try and encourage black to castle kingside whereupon they're really castling into um, a position where this open h-file and uh, these doubled pawns uh, can actually be assets rather than liabilities. And as we play through this game, uh, there's there's quite a lot of uh, manoeuvring in the middle to late middle game, which I'm going to run through pretty quickly. Um, if you want to engine check that, that's fine. But really the purpose of this video is to explain the bishop d6, bishop g3 line, and give you one illustrative game of how the pawns on the g file and how this rook on the h file can be used as uh, very strong assets. So this game continues h6, knight f3, knight f6, queen b3. 
And here I'm just really looking to uh, be a nuisance on the queen side and try to encourage black to castle uh, quickly on the king side. And rook b8, and I'm pretty pretty pleased with that. Bishop b5, a6, and I retreat the bishop. Queen d7, queen a4, just manoeuvring, castles. And here I have what I want. I want black to castle kingside. Queen d1, knight e7, knight b3, intending knight c5 to harass the queen, and also to continue to play a little bit on the queen side. Um, here I've not decided whether to castle queenside or not castle at all. Knight c5, queen d8, knight e5, and black responds with b6, and I retreat the knight. And here I'm just looking to uh, develop pieces and really decide when and where to attack. So I'm going to run through the next few moves um, because it's uh, not the most exciting of middle games. So as I said, you can engine check this if you wish. Um, I'm just going to run through the moves. Okay, and here black starts to relieve some of the attention with an exchange. And here my hope is I'm looking to exchange off the uh, black's light square bishop, which they um, they graciously give me that, and here, although it seems quite an innocuous position, after c5, queen g4, you can probably see the impact of this open h file. I'm threatening rook takes h6. So they see this threat playing king h8 and here I just calmly play queen h3 and I'm intending to use the pawns on the g-file just inch them up the board to rip open the king side. So this game continues knight g6 attempting to block the king side a little bit I play g4, c4, retreat the bishop, and if you look at my king position and look at black's pieces, black's pieces are pretty much all on the first rank, all in defensive mode. I have this lovely queen and rook battery on the h-file, and I have these armada of pawns um, ripping open the king side. This game continues, f5 trying to close it up, I capture en passant, queen f6, and here I decide to just castle to connect my rooks, and again, black's counterplay on the queen side is pretty slow with moves such as b5, b4. So the game continues. Knight e7, and here I play g5, exclamation point, uh, threatening the queen. At the same time, the pawn cannot capture, obviously, it's, it's pinned. And so when the queen retreats, it's a pretty um, quick end to the game. As follows, queen take h6, check. Uh, followed by a quick checkmate. So just rewinding the position a few moves. Let's just look at the the assets um, that White had early on. So at the point, uh, let's just rewind. Sorry, jump to the um, to move seven 
uh, just after the capture of the trade of bishops. And here we see the potential assets of the H-file and the double pawns. And again, if we look at that position um, towards the end of the middle game, move 27, we can see how white has used those assets to his or her advantage, um, dominating the H-file and using the pawns on the G-file to uh, rip open black's kingside position. So if you play the London system and your opponent plays an early bishop d6 before playing c5, then I would recommend not capturing because c takes d6 really gives black a good game. Instead of that, I recommend playing bishop g3 and if they capture as follows just open up the h-file and look to try and encourage black to castle kingside and if you can do that you should have a very comfortable game okay so i hope you found this uh, video useful i hope it's a, a useful addition to the series on the london system um, if you're not aware, then uh, the previous video, video 10, has an offer of a free ebook with some interactive London system games. Um, so that's well worth watching if you're interested in getting a free ebook. Other than that, good luck with your chess, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Thanks for your time.